Hey everyone and welcome back to part 5 of making a game of Pong. So currently we have two pedals that can move beyond the edge of the screen and we have a ball that sits in the middle of the screen. So today we'll be fixing the paddles so that they won't be able to go above or below the screen and we'll also be changing the ball so that it'll also be able to move around. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. So if we go over to our code and skip over to line 21, we have this new function called math.randomseed and inside of that function we have another function called os.time. So basically math.randomseed is basically just a seed and it's randomly number generated. So basically it's going to be random each time. And os.time uh, is uh, using our current time and it'll also be different each time we start up our application. So now if we scroll down to line 37, we have these two new um, variables that position the paddles on the y-axis so that they can only move up or down. And on line 41 and 42, we have the position of where the ball is when we start the game. And down here we have uh, two variables, ball dx and ball dy. And basically this is just a random uh, math.random returns a val random value between the left and right number. And we're declaring game state to start. And then here we f end this function. And over down here we have um, if love.keyboard is down w then we're making it so that our, our paddle won't be able to go above the screen or below the screen. And that's for the down key. And the same thing for the up and down arrow keys, and it's just the same thing as over here, except that uh, it's renamed for up and down. And then we end that function here. So over down here, we have the same function here. If we press escape, then that will trigger our function to close the game. And if we press enter on our keyboard, then it will start the game. And we can keep pressing enter to get a new ball direction. And over here, we're giving the ball the ball um, a random starting value. And then we end the function here. And over here, we have the function love.draw. And we're drawing, uh, if the game is in start, then we have start state. But if it's not in the start state, then we put play state. And these are just uh, rendering our first paddles. And this one is just rendering the ball. And then we end uh, our function. So that's basically it. So now if we run this, we get this. So in the beginning, we have a start state and we're able to move our paddles up and down. And now this time it doesn't go above or below the end of the screen. So this is a good feature. And now if we press enter on our keyboard, then it the ball goes to a random position. And if we keep pressing enter, then it will keep going into a different position. And whenever I press enter, you can see that uh, it changes from start state to play state. Uh, but the only thing that needs to be fixed here is that if we try hitting the ball, then we want it um, to reflect back. But right now, it's just going right through. So that's another thing we got to fix. But so far, it's looking pretty well. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed and see you guys in my next video.